Hello again, it's Josh over at hp2133guide.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your RAM in your HP Mini Note. Uh, it's really pretty easy. HP did mean for uh, end users to be able to do this themselves, but they didn't make it e as easy as it is in most other laptops. Uh, usually you'll find like a little door back here you can unscrew somewhere on the back and pop it open and get access to your RAM. Um, for the Mini Note it's actually underneath the keyboard so you have to get, uh, get access to that. So first we need to flip it over, um, take off the battery that out of the way. And underneath here is the three screws that hold on the keyboard. There's only three screws back here, so you know it's screw pretty much what you see. There's one on the right, one in the middle, and one on the left that's kind of stuck here in the recess where the battery actually plugs in. And these are just little screws, so be careful with them. Nope, trying to run away. All right, we got those screws undone now, so I'm going to flip it over. And what we need to do is get the keyboard off. So just grab it from this side right here. There's actually some two tabs on this side and one tab over here. But I find it's easier to get it um, popped out from this tab because these tabs are just in a better spot to get it loosened up from. Just need to kind of grab it and then it will pop out. And you need to grab that corner here and just kind of slide it up. And it eventually it'll start getting these little other sides out and then it'll just pull out real easy. So flip it over and be careful of this little the ribbon cable for the keyboard. You know, it's, it's not the most sturdy thing in the world, but it's not super fragile either. Then to actually get access to the RAM, it's right here. And basically what you need to do is just, there's two little metal tabs on each side of it. You need to pull on those, and it should just shoot up. And you can just grab it and pull it out. Um, and what I should have said before I started doing that was, if you have to get up at this point to go, you know, get a cup of coffee or answer the door, answer a phone call or something, you know, when you could sit back down, make sure you touch your keyboard, the back of the keyboard on the metal somewhere first before you start reaching in here because you could, you know, um, have a static discharge and fry something in the, in the menu note and that would be sad. So um, what you're looking for to upgrade your RAM is just uh, a 200 pin so dim. Uh, what they actually give you is a 5300, uh, but you could probably use 5300 or 5400. Uh, you can get it from, you know, Newegg or whatever, Kingston, Crucial, um, what are some other good brands? Uh, I can't think of any more. Corsair is another good one, PMY. Pretty much anything, you know, if you go there, if they have reviews, find something that is, you know, it's well rated and well liked and you should be fine. So to put it back in, you just want to take it back over here, make sure that little slot that's on it is on the left hand side and get it lined up and slide it in there. And it should just kind of go in until you can't really see the pins anymore. But all, that also depends on what kind of RAM you have. And once you get it in there where it won't really go in any further, it doesn't take any, a lot of force, just lay it down flat and it'll snap back in. So and then get your keyboard back on. There's a little tab that are along the bottom of the keyboard. You need to get those in lay it flat and then we need to get the tabs that hold the keyboard in latched and then just give it a once over to make sure it's flat close it and then put your three screws in on the back plug your battery in and it should be all set so if you have any questions or need anything else feel free to stop by the forums or the blog at hp2133guide.com thanks